What does he have left in the tank? Remember where you are, so you remember where you were. Swing and a miss. 19 strikeouts for Max Scherzer. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Randy Johnson, Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens, and now Max Scherzer. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. The Nationals' Max Scherzer tied a major league record by striking out 20 batters in a nine-inning game Wednesday night, doing it against his former team. The Nationals defeated the Tigers 3-2 as Scherzer went the distance, allowing just the two runs for his first complete game of the season. The flame-throwing 31-year-old joins a league company, becoming just the fourth player to accomplish the feat. The last was Randy Johnson in 2001. Now let's have a look at the rest of Wednesday's action. It's out of here! Noah Syndergaard with his second home run of the night. A three-run shot. Syndergaard with a two-home run game. Hello, Walt Terrell. And that will do it. Game over. First, last at bat win for the Astros this season. A walk-off for Marwin. Giddy up! And the pitch. Inside, he walked it. The bases loaded walk. Brandon Belt crosses the plate. Buster Posey dutifully over the first to tag the bag. And that is how the Giants snap out of the losing streak. Salvador Perez launches it into the left field seats for a three-run home run. There's a high deep drive to right. Did he do it again? Reddick back. He did. It's gone again. His second home run of the ball game. Hot, hot, hot. Six RBIs tonight for Jackie. Ball is gone. A three-run home run for Brett Wallace. Puts the Padres on top with one swing of the bat. And they have come back and won a big, big ball game here in Brooklyn. The longest winning streak right now in baseball. Eight consecutive games by the Chicago Cubs. That streak is over. On the breaking ball. Deep to left. Car rushed. That's going to be out on the street. But I mean, that ball was as hit hard, as hard as any ball this season by a San Diego Padre. And that's a fact. Swing and a drive. Deep left field and gone. Just inside the pole. Touch him all time for Nolan Arenado. Hughes deals, swinging a high fly ball, way back and right it goes, back, 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 and that ball is gone. A monster shot for Chris Davis. And that brings up Mark Trumbo, and he gets in the one to left center field. On the run is Danny Santana, and that ball is gone. Trumbo has his second home run of the game. The Orioles go back to back, and it's 5 to 1 0s in the fourth. Deep to center, Maybe. he's got a chance, and there it goes! Josh Harrison with a home run to center, and he has tied the game here in the eighth. And there's a base hit. Gung is in to score, and the Pirates have their first lead of the night, thanks to Jordy Mercer. There's a fly ball out to deep center. Rich it back, he'll look up, and it's gone. The first hit of the night, a two-run shot. The second for Crone, and it cuts into the lead. It's now 4-2. Another efficient inning. Just 10 pitches for Williams Perez, who's throwing a one-hitter at Philadelphia. A check of the runner and the pitch, and Beltre lines one to center. It's a base hit. Desmond around third base, and he's in to score the Rangers' lead. The throw goes to third, and it's late. Mazzara is safe. Adrian gives the Rangers the lead, 6-5. For more on these stories and for complete coverage from around Major League Baseball, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.